What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. This one's from uh, Wild Eye Releasing, and it is called Queen Crab. By the way, if you're not familiar with Wild Eye Releasing, they put out a lot of um, low-budget indie horror movies, uh, monster movies, cult movies, uh, some action movies, but mostly indie horror. Um, this one's Queen Crab, but you can tell from the artwork, I had to see this movie. I love that artwork. Um, this one was directed by Brett Piper, who had made some other... Uh, indie horror movies and he made one with bugs but i couldn't remember the name of it i had time for this review and it's also got the involvement of mark polonia who actually is on screen uh for a while in it which i think is pretty cool um this one is about a little girl and her dad doesn't really pay attention to her because he's working in his home laboratory all the time and he's trying to grow larger food to cure world hunger or something i don't know <laughs> it's just dumb but anyway He's trying to grow this stuff out of his house because he's just tired of, you know, people starving to death, I guess. He's worried about population explosion. Um, his wife is fed up with him. He, she doesn't pay attention to the daughter either. So the daughter goes and befriends a crab. So it's the story of a girl and her crab. Um, her father's lab explodes, killing her parents. But before that, uh, she took her crab, whose name is Pee Wee. She took Pee Wee into the laboratory and Pee Wee ate some of the... Uh, experimental grapes uh years later she still lives on the property she's kind of a recluse uh guards the property with firearms shoots at anybody including the police who come around and peewee is still around too only now peewee is like bigger than a car like peewee is just this huge gigantic crab now and because of some weird science thing uh even though there's not another crab like that can mate with this crab um she can lay a bunch of eggs so there's like more giant crabs hatching um and the story is just her trying to keep the secret but the crab is out on the prowl and peewee's looking to kill people and the movie's just like what's gonna happen to peewee and that's pretty much it but the real reason that you watch a movie that is called queen crab is to see the crab destroy shit and it does um it tears the guy in half which is the really the only blood in the movie there's a little bit in um, some other scenes, I think, but that's the only memorable part. Is a uh, memorable as far as blood is that the crab picks up a guy, tears him in half. Um, it doesn't have any nudity, so if you wanted to see like a ch naked chick laying on a crab, you're out of luck. Um, what's interesting about this movie is that it does have a lot of bad CGI, but it also like the crab actually looks pretty good. Um, it's kind of an, a throwback to the old school stop motion animation. It obviously doesn't look like Harryhausen, but it looks pretty decent. It's just, it's neat that somebody at least did something different. Um, the crab fights all kinds of people in this movie. He fights the police. He fights rednecks. He fights, like, child rednecks with guns. Uh, he fights a tank. He fights jet fighters. The effects are pretty terrible, but, I mean, if you're interested in movies like Queen Crab, then you, you're used to... Uh, you know you're used to that they don't look any worse than most of the rest of the genre um it's just a fun movie it's goofy it's fun i wish it was a little sleazier and a little more like bloody uh for a movie about a giant crab i don't know why they didn't go more over the top this is actually a pretty restrained movie um especially with brett piper and mark poloni involved you think it would just fucking go off like a powder keg but um it's it stays pretty grounded despite being about a giant crab um, the DVD is fine. It's got audio commentary track, featurettes, blooper reels, uh, trailers. The transfer looks good. Doesn't look great. Looks fine. There seems like there's some uh, issues with the audio, but I think that was from the shoot. I don't think it's an issue with the DVD. Um, I would recommend it to anybody who likes uh, the new wave monster movies, the sci-fi original type stuff, or you just have to see everything by uh, the Polonias. I would check it out. Um, it's fun. It's not anything earth-shaking, but it's a fun flick. Um, if you like this re review, please do check out my website, markfusion.com. I've got hundreds of more reviews there. Uh, I review a ton of monster movies and uh, crazy creature features on there. I love when animals attack, so there's a lot of that. I'm also on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, at markfusion. And that's it. If you're not a sub, please do uh, drop a sub here. I would seriously appreciate it. Thanks for watching this video, and hopefully i have another one up soon.